in another video, I will let you know the difference between a domestic and an industrial sewing machine. But today, we're going to learn how to mend your jeans. One, two, three. Four. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another video from Green Eagles. My name is Raylene, and I'm here to help you shop sustainably and maintain the clothes you use and love. So today, what we're going to be learning how to do is patch a hole in your pair of jeans. So what we need in this video is your jeans with the hole, denim scrap fabric to match the weight of your jeans, some scissors, thread that matches your jeans, a ruler, some safety pins, a stitch ripper, pencil, or Taylor's chalk. I like using Taylor's chalk, but you really don't need to. A pencil's good enough. And you need your sewing machine. This guy right here. I have a brother. He's very reliable. But I'm not gonna use my brother. I'm gonna use my industrial. So. But most people have brothers. Or singers. Okay, let's move on. Here we go. So you have your jeans with your hole. And your scrap fabric. So you want to take your ruler. And you measure an inch out on each side. Just make sure that you have enough fabric around the hole so that when you do patch the hole, there is fabric below so that it doesn't rip again. And if you actually feel inside of your jeans, you're gonna notice that there is fabric that is wearing out more. So you wanna make your patch, like I said, a little bit bigger than the hole. So for this hole in the knee, I just can measure three by four inches. Now we have our scrap fabric that we're going to put behind the hole. Let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, so this is the out seam, this is the in seam. You're going to want to stitch up this seam of your pant leg where the hole is. Four inches from the top of the hole and from the bottom of the hole. Just so that you have enough room to get inside the pant leg to put your patch of fabric that you're going to zigzag and patch your hole. And I say the out seam because it's a running stitch. So normally you can just like open a couple threads and then you just pull it kind of thing and then this will surged. So first things first is you're gonna want to flip your pant leg inside out and then on the out seam you're gonna stitch rip like eight inches. So you just stitch rip one thread and then it just runs like this and then you can just pull it. It's that easy my friends and family. And then you also want to get the stitch line on the other side. Okay, beautiful. Now you can get inside your pant leg. So we're gonna make a seam line like this and we're gonna pinch the fabric so that the hole is on the inside of your knee and not the outside. So then you're gonna sew that shut from the inside. And try to make a straight line, don't go all wobbly, just try to go straight from one side of the leg to the other, so that it's nice looking. So there's no bulges, you don't want any bulges. Straight like that. Okay, so you sewed the hole shut, made a seam there, and that's on the inside of your knee. And this is the outside of the fabric, that's how it's gonna look. And now you get your patch that you cut out here. And if your jeans are more whitewashed, so lighter blue, then I would just put the lighter blue of this denim patch on the fabric. And the dark side will be on your knee. I'm just gonna place that flat onto the patch here. And I like sewing on the exterior fabric, just so you make sure everything's flat. And this is where your safety pins come in handy. If you want to use them, you can. If you don't want to, that's all right. It's just to make sure that it stays there. Okay, so you have pinned your fabric underneath the hole on your jeans. And now what we're going to do is just feel around and where there is, where you feel like the corner of the patch fabric, that's where I'd like to start. So I'm just gonna start over here at the bottom right corner and we're gonna sew on the top of your denim fabric, <laughs> your jeans. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start at the corner here. I just felt around, so this is the corner of the patch. And we're gonna go on a zigzag motion, just going back and forth. And you're gonna go one edge to the next of the patch, and don't make the zigzags that wide, but you know, wide enough. And make sure that you're pulling on your fabric so that everything is flat. You don't want any bulges. You don't want any folds. And yeah, you just feel around and find where that patch is. Back stitch. So you're making these long back stitches and then forward stitches, making a zigzag. And then you go turn it a bit and go back again. You're just gonna want to go zigzag like that from one edge of the patch to the other across the whole patch across the whole entire hole that you are now mending got to find a way if you wanna go got to find a way if you want to go there ain't nobody Stitch there while you're at the other corner of the patch. You get your scissors, snip snip. Now just make sure that there's no bulges. You didn't you didn't make any folds in your fabric on your jeans. Cut all the loose threads. And there we go. That is it. And now to sew it back together, you just keep your leg flipped inside out and then follow along where it was sewn. And then you're just going to want to go a little bit past the stitch line, about an inch past the stitch line, so that for sure it's not going to unravel. Line everything back up together, do a quick back stitch, and we are on the road. Back together and make sure you just pull it tight so that everything aligns up properly because you did just make your knee a little bit shorter so you want to make sure that it's, everything's just aligning properly you have to stretch out a bit but yeah you just keep on going and just go in an inch past that running stitch again. Okay, so once your leg is all sewn back together, congratulations! You have mended the hole in your jeans invisibly. Yes, invisibly because we won't see the patch. So you can flip your pant leg back inside out and da, 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 da. you have your pants. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can message me on my email or my Instagram if you have any other mending ideas that you want me to demonstrate. I'll definitely do that. Just email me right at greenycostyle at outlook.com or you can also send me a direct message on my Instagram. I'm at greenyco underscore style. So thank you again for watching and I hope everybody has a gravy day and stay hydrated.